Look who else is on the Tough Talk couch this <laughs> evening. Former UFC champion Fabricio Verdum. Obrigada, thank you for being here with us. Uh, you were a coach against Cain Velasquez on Tough Latin America. What kind of experience was that for you? Yes, thank you for having me here, guys. Uh, very nice experience because it's the first one in Latin America Tough, the Ultimate Fighter. Mm -hmm. And uh, I learned a lot, you know, I learned. You show a lot of things, but you learn it too. Because they're very young guys. And uh, I think it's a very, very nice idea, like uh, the Ultimate Fighter uh, work for the guys. It's no fan of the UFC. The guys know everything. The guys see everything there. This is amazing. Uh, w first of all, would you do it again, the show? Would you, would you be a coach again? And what was the biggest thing you learned? What, you said you learned a lot. What was like the one thing that you said that you learned the most about it? Just, uh, the, I learned a lot of like uh, the, the patience, you know, because the guys is very young guys. The guys want to learn a lot of things too, but sometimes you learn the guys, uh, the, the experience, you know. I learned a lot because I saw a lot of fights, like, uh, you know, it's, it's different experience. For, the, for sure, I did a lot uh, again, 100%. Mm -hmm. Guys pay me, pay me, it's okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking, <laughs> I'm joking. Good pay, no problem, no, I'm joking. No, it's good experience. I did three. Yeah. I did versus Minotauro in Brazil, right. me, Minotauro. Vanderlei versus uh, Vitu Belfour, and uh, the third one, nice. uh, Kim Velasquez versus. It paid off. You're one of the most known heavyweights experience. there are. Yes, yes the, the, but it's a good one because I, I, I win the fight. The man fight yes. versus Minotauro, I beat him. Yeah. And mm -hmm. the Kim Velasquez too. And the, the challenge, you know, have a challenge, yeah. the coach challenge. Yeah. I win both too. <laughs> oh, man. Well, you that made was the in... money. Yeah, it's good money. <laughs> right, too. and that was in Bella Rosanch. I was there when yes. you beat Minotauro. Yes. That was a big fight. Um, speaking of three times, there's talk that you're going to have a trilogy fight with Alistair Overeem. It's more yes. than, you know, uh, uh, speculated. You say you signed the contract for this. So you guys are one and one. What do you expect in the third fight? Yeah, for sure. I want to uh, beat him again, you know. I fought uh, versus him the first time in Pride in mm -hmm. 2006. I beat him the Kimura. I got it the Kimura in the second round. And the, the second fight, he got him. He win like a terrible fight, you know. Yeah. Like a... I mean, I have an overtraining, I train too much. It's okay, one on one. But the third, third one is very important because I think I beat him, I go to do the title shot. This is my big goal, the title shot again. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Well, we know that you'll be fighting Alistair Overeem, but somebody else actually called you out. Let's take a look at this. We had Luke Rockhold on UFC tonight oh. in March, and he brought up your <laughs> Just name. Just for you. Let's take a listen. I don't believe it. <laughs> You know, everyone's stimming over this uh, this new fight I've brought up, and I think uh, me and Verdum got some old beef from Strike Force. Whoa! You know, he's a he's a guy I always want to fight. Like, really, I've thought it through, and I, I like the style matchup. Given what's going on in the middleweight division right now, yeah. screw that. I'm coming to heavyweight. Let's do this oh. thing. Okay, so what's the story? What's the beef? <laughs> yes, I don't know. I don't know. This guy is uh, crazy, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Say, but uh, it's okay. Say. Guy, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. They'll beep it. But they'll, they'll I don't understand. It. I don't understand because he say this, but it, it's not happy because I have a one step for the title shot again. Mm -hmm. Me versus uh, Overeem. I beat Overeem. I go to the title shot. Why I fight versus this guy? You know, he just lost versus uh, Michael Bisping. Yeah, mm -hmm. he lost. Yes. He he lose the last fight. Why I fight with him? He's just safe for safe because after he lose, nobody see him. Right. You know, not have an interview, nothing. And now he says something for show up again. Yeah. You know, that's it. I don't say not for this it guy. Sounds like a smart business plan to me. It's okay, man. Yeah. Call you out. It's worth a try, right? Right. <laughs> maybe, I don't know, submission, maybe just a slap his face. I don't know. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, let, Different this is, rules, you know? Yeah, yeah. This is something that is going to happen. You uh -huh. got Stipe Milicic versus Junior Dos Santos coming up. Uh, UFC 211 in Dallas. Yes. How do you see that fight playing out? I mean, obviously, you're, you're going to be watching it. Yeah, for sure, 100%. Uh, the last fight, Dos Santos win. He beat uh, uh, Stimio Teach about decision. The last round, I think, so the last round, right. big difference. I think this fight, the same thing, but uh, Stimio Teach win. The same thing like a, a decision again. Mm -hmm. But he is a, a Stimio Teach is the champion. When you are the champion, your mind is different. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the fight very close fight. I think the champ will be a champion, you know? When a big difference, the challenge, it's okay. But I think uh, Stimio Teach will be a champion again, yeah. Well, I tell you what, you are still to be remembered as one of the greats, if not the great greatest. Let's look at some of your uh, career accomplishments. You have a whole bunch of champions right there. Fedor, Kane, and Noguera, of course, considered some of the best heavyweights in history. You made them all tap out. And Fabricio, you and I have talked about this before. 
but I feel like you should maybe be considered the best heavyweight of all time. How do you feel about yeah, that? Yeah, but I don't like when I say that, you know, ah, I'm the best, I don't like this. It's like, a, I think, a prep, how's it, prepotent? Yeah, it's, it's like just, a, it's too, it's too uh, sort of obnoxious, cocky? kind of cocky. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yes. Thank you, Karen. Yes. You see a lot of my my I beat Ken Velasquez, yes. Feather because he take down me now. He take, right, yeah, yeah. You, the last fight you lose, <laughs> you know. Now you. Well, you know, I, I'm joking. we all lose. <laughs> I lost right. my you last know, fight I know, too. I know. It happens. Just joke. What too would humble. it take for you to say it about yourself? Uh, to be that good? When are you that good? It's, never. It's true. Yes, I You're think you're never that much good. You want you say that? You know. Okay. It's okay. You say like sometimes like I'm the best. But not all the time you say, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the best. I'm the, no, no, I don't like it. How about just this once? Say you're the best heavyweight in the world, on the planet. <laughs> I'm the best? In the world. <laughs> in the world. I'm the best. Best I'm heavyweight. Quite, I'm quite a little bit. <laughs>